Eileen Sullivan Hopsicker in this morning, an author, a first-time author too, right? Is this uh, you? This is your first endeavor, and it's a big one. Second time back here, though. Yes, I published uh, your first novel, The Balance of Justice. Davy, let's take caller number four. But for people who would like to win tickets to see Chicago Broadway Utica's uh, presentation of Chicago coming up, uh, the opening is Tuesday night. I want to give somebody a chance to win a pair of tickets. And I want you to help me if you could, Eileen. Certainly. We're going to give away a little something in the, on the book. You okay with this, Paul? Are we going down this hey, road? Hey, hey. Uh, because this is, this is a woman. Uh, this is the story of the Utica streetcar murder from 1872. Now, I'm going to give somebody a chance to come on the air in a moment, and they're going to have to guess if this woman was found guilty or not guilty. So let's not give that part away just yet. But talk about this story. Well, um, she, this woman came from uh, Ruskiny Falls. Uh, that's where she started out. Well, actually, she started out in, in um, Virginia, but grew up in Ruskiny yeah, Falls. Yeah. Sweet girl. and um, Way ahead of her time. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, she start, starts out very, very bright, very capable and everything. Um, but normal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And then um, her husband um, goes off and uh, sails away, and she has three children. The oldest is three. And he leaves her in New York City with $14. 14 bucks. 14 bucks. And even in uh, the 1870s. Um, Correct. A, a lot, lot of people money. think, well, the money went a lot further back yeah. then. Well, I have a sheet that tells me that it's $4 a week for rent. Right. Where's she going the, the with that? the average uh, income for per week was $16. So she yeah. didn't have much. So yeah. she ended up back in the Risky Falls, mm-hmm. waiting two years. And he finally sent for her. And, and uh, she went off and, and met him in Europe. With the children, the marriage soured, and he kidnapped the children, and she never saw right, him. Right, she lured him in. Uh, he lured her in to yep. travel yep. over into Europe. Yep. And when she did, he took the kids, and yeah. she was left on her own again. Yes, yes. Did she ever get her kids back, or can you not tell that yet? No, she did not. She didn't. Wow. And um, so she came back uh, very distraught. And she was a different person. All right. Before we go, we're going to skip right to the end because I I know Marie's probably got to go off somewhere. She's from Utica, standing by, ready to win Broadway Utica tickets to see Chicago. Good morning, Marie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. You know, we have a contest we've been doing all week long called Guilty or Not. And we find women, this ties into Chicago, who have been charged with a crime of some sort, in some cases a heinous crime. Uh, so this woman and her name again. The woman's name Josephine McCarty. Josephine McCarty, uh, and we're McCarty. and we're talking about the story of the Utica streetcar murder from 1872. She went on trial. Was she found guilty or not? Hmm. Um. Let's say not guilty. Was she found guilty or not, Eileen? Not. Yeah, I know that, Marie. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm asking uh, Eileen, the author, and the answer is... Not. Not. There we go, Marie. Congratulations. You are absolutely correct. It's not guilty. How about that? Uh, okay, Marie, we're going to hook you up with tickets to see Chicago at the Stanley Theater coming up on Tuesday night. It's opening night. If you'd like tickets, there still are some available for Tuesday or Wednesday's show. And contact Broadway Utica for details. Marie, though, you're all taken care of. Davey's going to hook you up. Thank you very right. much. Thanks. We'll see you at the show on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Got it. Sit tight. Uh, Davey, hook her up, if you would, please. So she was found not guilty. She was. Yeah. Uh, he threatened her, right? He was he Did he abuse her beyond um, the, the mental abuse? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Um, he... he Chased, chased her. He uh, uh, wouldn't let up. I mean, he, he put an ad in the newspaper when he couldn't find her in New York City. Anybody knows where Josephine McCarty is, wow. let him know. Wow. I mean, that's stalking in a yeah. big way. Yeah. Um, and he just would never let up. Hmm. And, uh, you know, it began when they were young. They, they knew each other before she, she married. Um, he was always infatuated with her, uh, probably in love with her. Yeah, yeah. Um, then I think it the love wore off it was just an obsession Mm -hmm. and then it became hate and back then uh when a woman was obsessed over by a man and especially if they'd been married it was almost like an ownership 
situation. Uh, yeah. You hear all those stories of uh, right here in Utica where where women who wanted to leave their husbands ended up uh, in, in the psych center. Well, this wasn't her husband. I mean, that, that she and the husband never got back together. He, he just, oh, this, this wasn't her husband. No, okay. no. This is the guy oh. who just kept following her from oh. for all her life. I mean, wow. he just... Uh, and, she, she and the was, husband, she just never, because he had the kids, and he's, he's, right, he's off gone. in Europe. This, yeah. is, yep. this is Mr. Thompson. Wow, this yep. is a great story. It's uh, a great story. Uh, which could the, include dialogue, by the way, unlike yes, the movie we saw last night. And that, that's why we're, we're, we're trying to maybe get this thing uh, into a screenplay. <laughs> i got to tell you, this would be a great, I know, great, great movie. Because he was a pillar of, of the community here yeah. in Utica. I mean, mm-hmm. he was, you know. But he's your typical guy. And, um, Pig? He was, uh, <laughs> just couldn't leave her alone. Uh, but uh, and when she was found not guilty, it was based on self defense. Uh, she was the first woman in the country to be tri- uh, tried on temporary insanity. Oh, okay. And um, it was, of course, an all male jury. Uh, that's how it was back then. Mm-hmm. Women could not serve on a jury. Yeah. Um, there was crazy uh, a lot of shenanigans during the trial, um, where Milton Thompson's uh, family tried to influence mm-hmm. them. Was there any DNA evidence on her cell phone? <laughs> um, did you see any of that? On the string. Different world. You know, it, 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 this is this a photo from the... That's, um, no, that is um, from an 1879 history of Oneida County, and that is Genesee Street. Wow. This is Genesee Street. I mean, look at this building. It's the Hackett Building. Yeah. But, I mean, if you just look at the signs on the building, first of all, there's a million windows in there. But, I mean, like, it says there's a tailor, right? There's a right. guy selling suits. Yeah. And then there's there's a druggist. Yeah. And it's not a pharmacist. Right. It's not Randall's. It's the, Back then, they called it druggist. The druggist, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, just a, a completely different time. But the street itself, I mean, it's all It's small. brick, right? Um, yeah, well, stone. Uh, blacks, stone. Uh, you're having a book signing. I am tomorrow. Can we, uh, it'll be tomorrow. One o'clock is. Uh, Where are you going to be the, for this uh, one? Please. Oneida County History Center. Okay. Yes. And where is that located, uh, Paul? Do you have it's right that? on Genesee Street? Right on Genesee. Yep, right before you, between right. up between the, uh, the roundabout I, and uptown. This book, if you were to take this book out of the 1800s and plop it right into this era right now, it is so relevant, don't you think? It is relevant. Yeah. Yes. It yeah. is. Really cool. Okay, so um, this is your first book. Uh, it's really exciting. You got to be happy with all the attention you're getting from this. <laughs> I am. I yeah. am very surprised. This and it's a, a great new story. World. <laughs> yeah, the, the woman was fantastic. I mean, like the, the, what caught me was when she told me that she was a spy for the Union in the Civil War. I said, you know, right. back then, my God, what an awful war that yeah. was. Yeah. And here, this girl is riding into the you know into the night, you know, spying mm-hmm. on the camp. So, a uh, very fascinating book. All right, Eileen. Again, the time for the signing tomorrow is one o'clock, one p.m. at the historical center, center. history center. History they center changed it. Uh, now the center is no longer society. Okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you, William. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to break.